Sunday, October 18th, 2020. Today I'll be painting my bedroom. Be a light gray. Darker than the uh, the bathroom. I'll tell you that bathroom really, that color, that Benjamin Moore turned out great. I'll show you what I'll, I'll be using today. So I'm gonna try some Dutch Boy. Paint primer, all right. So white base. Uh-oh, looks like someone picked up the wrong. Okay, I understand. It was, I didn't pick this up. It was mixed. Okay. Makes sense now. So this is what I'll be using today. I did my taping yesterday, top to bottom. Even removed the blinds here. You might be able to see the tape. So I'll just take the blinds off. And um, I bought some uh, paper to cover the window. Because once I put the, the uh, paint in the trim uh, or in the window seal and stuff like that, I'm not going to put the blinds in until tomorrow. I'll just let it dry real good. I don't want any of the paint to get on the blinds. So the window will be exposed, but I'll um, put the paper up to keep people from looking in. So yeah, got it real good. I just want to be, be real careful with the blinds. Uh, and then I'll show you something once I take the blinds down. All right, guys, this is what I wanted to show you. When you get in the house, just look for stuff like this. Because when these guys cut corners like this, guarantee you they're going to cut all type of corners. And when you don't even want to put in the effort to mask a window, to paint it the right way, it's just a telltale sign of things to come. So look out for little stuff like this. Again, I told you when I um, did the bathroom, um, the medicine cabinet was just screwed in by one drywall screw and it wasn't even put into a stud. Uh, it eventually fell off the wall. So, um, but just look for stuff like this, okay? Probably wondering, well, you didn't take those brackets down, so how are you gonna get around that? Well, you get something like this. I didn't want to take the brackets down because, you know, once you take them down, those screws, they they just never, uh, I, 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 I would just say, bond with the with the wall the same unless you have anchors. So I didn't want to take them out, but. I'll just be as careful as I can with the use of the uh, artist uh, brush set here. I got this from Home Depot under five bucks. So that's all you gotta do. Okay, so I prepped the area. I didn't mix the um, paint here. Um, mixed it in the back porch area. Then I brought the pan here. Got my three inch, uh, nine inch. Of course, I got the uh, little cheap one inch and then I got my little um little brush there and it's time to get started and get this underway i'll just show you um the work uh here and there all right okay folks i got a problem this brush is horrible i'll never buy it again the bristles just keep coming off and sticking to the paint so the dollar tree brush is a lot better so I'm gonna have to I'll probably stop. I just need a brush for the corners. So I like the paint. We'll see how it looks when it dries up a bit. I like it, I guess. But yeah, um, these dollar seven brushes from Home Depot, don't waste your time. 